I think we can all agree that breaking down a butternut squash to roast is a total pain in the neck, but it does not have to be. Yotam Odolenghi has been doing something much simpler for years, and I think it's completely genius. <laughs> Faki. Faki's like, this is Faki's yeah. fave. <laughs> So the first time that I learned about this recipe, our executive producer, Gabriella, was telling me about the Ottolenghi recipe where he doesn't peel the squash. And I thought, okay, that sounds genius. And I went looking in all of his books and I realized that every single one of his books has at least one recipe where he doesn't peel the butternut squash. So that's kind of how I went down this rabbit hole. The thing is, he leaves it in big hunks so that the skin gets a chance to Roast in the oven, kind of crisp up along the sides, kind of pops under your teeth a little bit. It's like a nice extra element of texture. It's not a sacrifice. You're not thinking, oh, who forgot to peel the butternut squash? The recipe I'm gonna show you today is just one simple version of this whole paradigm from Otolenghi. It has an herby sauce, a spicy yogurt, and some crunchy pepitas on top. But you can take this idea and use it in any butternut squash recipe you want. But this is the most simple one, and I think it will go really, really well with a Thanksgiving dinner, with any dinner, really, that you're making all through the, the fall and winter. It's going to be very bright and colorful and exciting and not very complicated to make. Here's all our chunks. They're just gonna get some olive oil, salt, and in an interesting twist, cinnamon, which goes really nicely with the cilantro sauce and the yogurt that are coming later. In all of Autolinghi's books, he says to put them skin side down if possible. So it might feel a little bit counterintuitive, but for the fatter pieces, if you want to stand them up on their skin ends, you should do that. And I think it's to crisp up the skin a little bit more and get it even more brown. I kind of love this. They're so cute standing up on end like this. If they topple over, that's totally fine too. But the ones that have the skin in contact are gonna get this nice like golden blistering thing going on with the skin. Just to finish showing you how this one particular version of this recipe finishes off, and remember that you can do really anything you want with this idea of roasting big hunks of squash without peeling them. For this version, it's just a simple cilantro sauce and a simple spicy yogurt. All right, what do you think about this? Do you always peel your squash when you're roasting it? Are you like, why would I ever bother peeling my squash? Tell me, I'd, I'd love to hear from all of you in the comments. So you can see where the skin was touching the bottom. That's where you get that nice browned blistery bit. So that's why it's kind of cool to put it skin side down. This little time-saving hack, this extra excuse to be lazy works not just with butternut squash, but pretty much with any hard squash that you find at the farmer's market. It's especially a boon when it's something that you would not really know how to peel anyway, like the ones with the ridges, how are you going to peel that? So just don't. This is the really fun part. We get to make a mess. And there's one more thing that'll go on top. These toasted pepitas, just for some crunch. I know this is gonna sound controversial, but I honestly think the skin is kind of the best part. It's such a cool texture. I don't know why we've been peeling it all this time. For more recipes like this every week where I tell you about stuff you don't have to do, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and check back next week. Mm -hmm.